Hello again, and I was quite kidding when I said that my videos don't get any views, which is kind of true in a figurative sense, but it has come to a point where it's literally true in a literal sense. In all honesty, I don't blame anyone because who would want to watch me anyway? I ain't rich. I got no connections. I ain't a woman because, you know, women get a lot of attention now these days, like for example, yeah. And my videos are on stupid things. Like no one really wants to watch a person commenting on public proposals, and I understand that. But this is the second part, all right? And this is where it con this is where all my concerns started like i was a kid where i saw the world like the pyro's eyes where you put on like pyrovision goggles and anything romantic related seems pretty lighthearted and wholesome you know but here yeah he got this guy here he wants to flex on the strip mall and everyone like at a strip mall how much he loves his girlfriend and shit and then starts to propose to this girl like yeah okay yeah good for you i i don't care <laughs> like i didn't ask for that it's basically the fact that these people constantly live in their heads imagining but yeah i assume that this takes place in india because you know yeah you can already tell once again this is the video that gave me the idea to make this in the first place and as i said before these tend to be the most common venues a sporting event or a shopping mall. I've never seen a public proposal elsewhere, to be honest. But yeah, grab yourself a, a bucket of curry and start calling this number. So here we go. Hi. Um, hello. Uh, sorry to stop your shopping and, and your evening. Hello. Uh, I just have a very special message for a very special girl. This is where we met three months ago. Yeah, I would probably walk past a public proposal. Because at the end of the day, I have no fucking clue who you are. You're not a celebrity. So I'm just going to walk straight past it. Like, I don't care. It's like taking wedding pictures in front of the blue line stop. And like, I'll already assume that your girl already likes you. So yeah, she, we already know the outcome, man. It's like award shows. Like, you already know who's going to win. And then they have the most cliche speeches like, yeah, you can do it. Like, and I know I contradict myself here saying no one will care. But people will talk about it. For centuries if something goes wrong in this situation because people thrive for failure you know but anyway three months ago wait what <laughs> three months ago okay hace tres meses que las conocido aquí en este centro comercial <laughs> you probably don't even know her completely or at least not a lot about her and you're trying to marry her after three months like who knows who knows maybe she just wanted a, a simple hookup or something like straight off like bollywood tinder or something like she was clearly not looking for something long term like boy you are really going fast my friend jesus but three months you don't even know her like oh my god you're making <laughs> well it already happened you already made the biggest mistake already so Ooh, okay Are people looking? <laughs> this is where we first saw each other and this is where i fell in love with you and, and you're my absolute john and you had me that day at hello when you said hello to me i mean after i said hello anyway you're my john you're my sweetie pie you're my cutie pie you're my absolute oh. john and um, anyway keep going it's funny how this train that just crosses by just predicts a whole plot of the anime. Like, it really isn't that sweet in the end. Spoiler alert. <laughs> like, when I saw the train pass by, I started to think if this was, like, staged because of how coincidental this happened. The train saying not so sweet at the end, like, like, how did you know? Like, what's also funny is when the, like, the girl recording says there are, like, so many people looking. Like, no fucking shit, man. Like, this guy here is trying to make a scene, trying to get everyone's attention. It's like, hey, look, I'm about to propose to this girl right here. I'm about to ask her to be my housewife for the rest of my life. Like, and I understand that meeting someone can be really awkward at first. Like, what just happened here? But, oh my god, Jesus Christ, man. Like, everything he's saying so far is just, just super cringy and so stale not creative absolute ja absolute john cutie pie i don't know i'm fucking i'm being racist at this point like he watches too many movies man and once again with the not so not so sweet train passing by like yeah the people really that's just shows like the people really don't care they don't really care at all like honestly thank goodness for covid honestly because probably public proposals have gone down like at an all-time low and I say probably because there's probably that one percent of people that are like live streaming it or something or maybe yeah in public um, uh, you Janu, you're my sweetie pie you're my cutie pie you're my show you're my everything and, and and I know you find this cheesy but but I want everyone to know you make me really happy and I have a little poem for you and I, I'd like everyone to hear this when you smile the whole world stops and stares for a while. Wow.
That is perhaps one of the most creative poems that I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, I just hope that this freaking video doesn't get copyright claim or strike. Because I assume that he already monetized the poem already. Like, I don't know the word for it, but you know what I mean. Like, okay, but like, just by looking at her face, she does not want to deal with this shit right now. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Like, the body language, the facial expressions. Like, I'm no Derek Van Shike or whatever you pronounce his last name, but... She does not seem to muse at the very slightest bit. And my heart ceases to beat. And there's nothing else that I seek except you. And I just have one question for you. Oh, no, 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 no point in trying to save him to take an arrow to the knee at this point. Like, the moment he executes that technique, it's over. <laughs> it's over. The crowd's expecting it to ask you if he wants to be his housekeeper for the rest of your life, you know? Like, there's no point. You truly make me the happiest person on earth. <laughs> Are you okay? Nah, I don't think he's okay. I don't think he's okay. God damn, my hair's long. I need a haircut. I guess the lady smacked him back to, into reality because of like how ridiculous that proposal was. Like the sheer embarrassment she had to face amongst a whole crowd and the unknown embarrassment that the man is facing as well because he thinks it's so romantic for some reason. But no, no, you gotta look in like deeply between the, you two or else it's just gonna be a, a complete shit show at this point. But yeah, looking back at it, like, I don't know what was running through his mind. Like, he probably watched a bunch of Bollywood movies that came straight out of T-Series and tries to imitate it on uh, with a significant other at a freaking Great Value shopping mall. Like, like honestly, low-key, looking back, she was doing you a favor, man. Like, sometimes you just can't finish what you started. You don't have to do that, you know? Because, like, if you if you did actually propose, if she let you finish, it would look a lot uglier than it, than what was right there. Or maybe this was his way of asking for a new mate, so who knows? Or maybe he saw, like, some kind of tarot reading the life-changing day. Well, he's not wrong. Look what happened that day. <laughs> but yeah, in the end, I don't really have final thoughts here, because I'm gonna make just one more here that no one's absolutely not going to see. Like, don't get me wrong, COVID is serious and stay safe out there, but there are some positives to some things, right? But no, see, seriousness again yeah stay safe keep your family safe keep your sperm safe get vaccinated and if you don't want to it's fine just follow the safety measures a lot better but yeah i'll see you guys later peace